Hey everybody, welcome to episode 184 of the Daily Dose of Drupal. I am Adam Laring, and today we are going to be covering the Smart Paging Module. I um, kind of just stumbled across this one by chance um, and piqued my interest, but basically what the Smart Paging Module is going to allow us to do is break our content or our long-form content onto multiple pages, basically improving the user experience when somebody's reading it. So um, instead of seeing one long scroll bar, they're going to see multiple pages um, of content. This also can be used, of course, if you're doing you know, the 10 best Drupal modules and you only want to do one post but have them broken across five different pages. Um, this is a good module for that type of use case. So we're going to get to that in just a second. But as you're typically used to before, before we do that, we got to do a little publicity. Um, Code Karate, of course, is where all other modules and all the kinds of other crazy stuff can be found. Head on over there. Um, check out all our new posts. Check out our ebook. Um, go ahead and follow us on our social networks. We do have a new YouTube channel. Or not new, I suppose, but just um, updated one. A new Code Karate Twitter account. Um, some other cool stuff going on on Facebook as well. So make sure to head on over to all those. Like us, tweet us, whatever you need to do. Appreciate anything um, you can do. All right, so that's that's that. So now let's get to the module. And again, um, I'm going to show you how to use it and give you a couple other use cases in a second. So obviously the first thing um, to let you know is I'm using the... 7.20 version here. Um, this is uh, the most updated version available. Um, inside the module here, there's some other stuff that you'll want to check out. Some integrations that work with um, like WYSIWYGS, um, MetaTag module, um, SEO stuff. I'm not going to go ahead and cover any of that in this video. I'm simply going to show you the basics of how it works. But um, know that it does integrate well with um, some other modules out there. Um, again, there is some um, good information as far as um, how it's working in the back end. So if you're interested on in that, um, go ahead. There is also an installation here, um, seven steps, but we're going to take you through those right now. All right, so the first thing you do again is download your module and drop it in your modules directory and then go ahead and enable that. So I did that, so I turned it on. And then you'll want to go over here to configure. And then I'll kind of take you through some of these options here. Um, the first one is you want to, you most likely you're going to want this enabled, um, clean URL pagination. And it also allows you to specify the word that you're going to inject into the clean URL. And I'll show you where that shows up eventually. But basically, you can see here from an example, um, this would be, you know, codecarate.com slash um, node slash one. If you're using, um, you know, clean pass, that could be, you know, codecarate.com slash awesome post. And then it would say page slash zero of one and it would go on and basically be a clean URL. But if you didn't want it to say page, instead you wanted to say, you know, I don't know, article or, you know, banana. I mean you could have it say whatever you wanted. Obviously page is kind of the default one I would use and we're gonna continue using that here. Um, scrolling down here some other options here. Uh, using you want to use the JavaScript pager. Um, obviously this basically just loads your page your next page without having to reload the page. Um, so that's always nice. Makes it a little easier for users to get to the uh, next page faster. Uh, you can use the next and previous uh, buttons to a page one page at a time instead of going, um, you know, jumping, having to select page two, page three, page four. Um, so if keeping that checked will allow that. Uh, let's see here. Um, some default value stuff as well. The uh, module allows you to basically break content three different ways. Uh, first one being a manual setting, uh, so you can do, use this placeholder here, a comment, basically a page break. Um, you can customize that if you wanted. Um, I wouldn't see a point to it. You can also, whoops, you can also limit it on character count. So it's going to count your text, and every time it reaches 3,072 characters, it's going to make a new page break. Or you can do it simply by word. So every 512 words, um, it's going to make a new page. You can customize all of this on the individual content type. Um, these are the defaults. Um, these are, the, I should say, these are the defaults for all um, smart paging filters. But again, you can customize that on an individual basis if you'd like. Um, also here, um, you can see the content suffix title if you want that. Um, the description actually provides a good explanation of that. But it just would say page two, page three, and so on. So you could change that to say, 
something specific to your site if you want it, but page works for me. Okay, so now that we have all the default set up, the next thing you need to do is go into your um, text formats. So if we come over here under content authoring, you can click text formats. And by default here, the basic Drupal installation is going to have the three. Um, I always choose to use uh, full HTML um, as my default. But if I go in here and I configure, you got to make sure that you enable the smart paging option here. And this is pretty important. By default, um, I'm showing this after I did it once, but by default, this, this is what it would look like when you came in here. So what I did is I selected the part smart paging um, checkbox, and then I disabled the, a BR as a line break option. And I basically said convert line breaks into HTML for smart paging capabilities. Um, that This option appears when the smart paging module is installed. So you just want to make sure that you have these two checked for sure. And the rest again are up to you if you'd prefer. Um, the smart paging just appears here. And we'll go ahead and save. So the other caveat real quick just to make sure that in case you choose not to use full and you want to use um, filtered by chance, you want to make sure again you have these same ones selected here. So we do these two here. But another thing you're going to want to make sure is down here in the filter settings, you allow, you inject um, a comment as a possible HTML tag. I believe over here, if you look at this directions here, um, you got to verify that comment tags are included in a limit allowed HTML tags list. So we just want to include that, that comment here if we did. Make sure you space it there. But that basically allows for comments to be accepted HTML. Um, using full HTML, of course, you know all HTML tags are allowed. So I don't actually have to do that on the full side. Okay, so now we have our filter set up. The next thing you need to do is go to your actual content type that you want to use it on. So head on over to content types. Um, I just have a basic Drupal install here. So I'm going to go to my basic page, manage display. And you'll see here I have a smart paging option um, available. If I click on this cog. Um, again, here's where I can override some default settings if I want. Um, if I wanted the character limit to be less or word limit to be less, I'm not going to change any of this um, right now. Oh, right here too is a so show smart paging settings during content editing of this content type or use this below for every content of this. So I'm going to say I want every piece of content that's a page to use this same one. I'm not going to change every individual node. Um, you can if you wanted. That will be selecting this, whoops, that box there, but I'm not going to for this example. So just know you can do it on individual nodes as well. So okay, so there we go. We have our set there. Let's save that. And then all we need to do is create a piece of content. So let's add some content. Oops, I, I, oops, I'm going to jump back, sorry. I forgot to ses, mention something here. Um, right now I have the page break method sit at automatic page break on word limit. So every 512 words, I'm going to get a new page. So right, notice that's the way I have it set right now. I'm going to show you the other two options as well. Um, we'll start with that one. So again, we're going to save that. We're going to add some content to our basic page. So we're going to do word count break. I'm going to just get some lorem ipsum here. Uh, I have a, quite a bit on here. But again, it's going to break every 512 words. So let's just let's get kind of crazy. Let's show so it'll be 1024. Whoops. Let's do 512. And give me two paragraphs. So I should basically see two pages here because after that Tempor, I should get a page break to the second page. So we'll test that. So we paste that in. Yeah, just basic text here. So right here should be the end of the first page, and then the start of the second page should be here. So let's see if this works. Again, we'll switch ours to full here. Save that. And there we go. So I was actually, it's off one word. So it's, which could be a combination of one of the two, but so basically I'm 
count might be off by one, possibly, but close. So then there's my second page. You'll notice up here, here's my example of where that page came into play. So I could have changed that to whatever um, I wanted to. And I could have said, you know, banana or whatever, but it doesn't. So that's that's the word word count break. Say I didn't want to do that anymore because obviously it seems like the count might be off one. So say I want to do it by character instead. So if I go back to my content type here and edit this, I can say do it by character limit instead. Character limit set to 3072. Um, we'll just leave that there for now. It's fine. Let's grab some more content though. Let's give me, let's give me five, uh, sure. Let's give me five paragraphs of that. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, so we'll come back to our basic page. Sure, find content. So let's paste that in. So now we have a lot more content, right? So we're going to have a lot, in theory, more pages. Save that. Look at that page. So now you can see I have six pages here. So I go next, and then I, again here it allows me to um, jump to a page if I wanted. That's using JavaScript, which we had enabled. So that's the word character limit, right? So now let's say we said, no, we want fine grain control. We want actually be able to control all the content ourselves. Um, again, we can change that really quickly. Content types, basic page, manage display, edit here. All we need to do is set this to manual placement of placeholder. This is the placeholder we have to use, that comment. And again, remember we enabled smart paging on the full filter, and we also, on the filtered HTML text format, we uh, allowed for comments to exist. So we save that. Um, go edit that content again. And now, we can just input this comment in wherever we want to get different pages. So I've entered it three times. So when I refer save this page, I should have four different pages. So every page breaks a new page. So this would be one page, two page, three page, and then I don't have another one, so that should be the fourth page. So I save that. Look at it one more time. And there we go. So now I have four pages. So every page break obviously gives me a new page. So that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's a really simple module, of course. Some examples, like I mentioned, would be, you know, you want top 10 modules. Every module could be its own page. Um, you know, there's a lot of, you could use that for if you're writing a guide and you wanted to just break down every section or every chapter of a guide. Um, every chapter could be its own page. A lot of cool use cases. Um, for this module, really simple to install and configure as well. So if you have any questions about it, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, again, head on over to Code Karate. We love the support. Um, anything else? Uh, wait, I forgot. Uh, you can get the cheat sheets there for free on Drush and Git. Um, yeah, I think that's it, guys. So until until next week, uh, stay cool. See ya.